Race set number 16, Alingi Red Bull Racing, Orient Express Racing Team. Breeze has got light, a little slow patch for Orient Express. In these conditions, really hard to follow a game plan because it's changing so much. Big, big gear changes here on both boats. Cyclers having to work hard here. Lingy Red Bull Racing there, a little off the foils and a little slow there, so they want to try and re-accelerate the boat here. French on their foils, time on distance, probably a dip start by the French. The Lingy Red Bull Racing accelerating, so they should pop up on their foils here. Inside the last 10 seconds to the start of round robin number two. This is race 16. And it is a go. A Lingy Red Bull Racing, Orange Express Racing, a monster matchup to start the week. A little advantage there to a Lingy Red Bull Racing, but the French doing all they can to hang off the hip here. A little unorthodox start by the French. They're not terribly well executed, but they've survived well. They're very much back in the game. Oh, they've lost the rudder, the French. They've lost the rudder. Big speed spill there. Need to get that back under control quickly. A big gain there to Alinghi, Red Bull Racing. Need to get locked in here, the French. Let's go to chase zero, Peter Lester. Uh, what would you call that an unorthodox start? Yeah, I think some of that's brought about, by, it, it's really shifty in the breeze, the pressure's up and down. Uh, off the line, Alinghi Red Bull Racing, they did a pretty good job of jumping back up on the foils at the crucial time. And they've uh, jumped out to a pretty handsome lead uh, in protecting that left-hand side. The, the wind just seems to be oscillating, but favouring uh, coming off the shore. So the left, the left um, tack or, or coming up on port will be the, the making board to the top mark. Oh, the French there, the pressure, off the foils. Yeah. Look like there's an issue on board. Orange Express Racing. But they're trying to get the boat up and going again. Alinghi Red Bull Racing sailing beautifully up to the top of the course here. A huge lead with Orange Express Racing off the foils. This is the race committee. We are moving the leeward gate, shifting the course axis to 350. At the start on the opening day of round robin number two, when Alinghi Red Bull Racing need a win, they've just been handed somewhat of a gift at this point they will round at the top gate for the first time well ahead of orient express racing that's what you call america's cup pressure coming to play this is such a big race for this team they wouldn't admit it but really is a miss it's a must win to have this kind of lead so good for them. It's puffy, shifty conditions. Surely really, really tricky to sail the boat well. And those tiny little skinny rudders, you know, you get them high and super easy to uh, to spin out. Even in the pre-star, it didn't look like they were quite in control of, of what was going on. Do you think that was mechanical or, or just or just the conditions? Certainly difficult conditions. See the veins of breeze coming down the course there. Really, really quite puffy and shifty, so definitely an eyes out of the boat day. On to the Alinghi Red Bull Racing chase boat with coach Petro Sibillo. When it matters most, you've got the right start and you've got a strong lead, Petro. There must be, at this point, a sense of relief at the moment. 
setting the right path. Yeah, for sure the guys did a very good job so far uh, at the start uh, and then also after. I mean, uh, it's quite I a mean, tricky condition here. Start. Very shifty breeze up and down. You know, they have to keep the eyes uh, out of the boat and uh, play in the shifts. Also, was quite tough uh, at the beginning of the, the day, the sail choice, you know, with the storms approaching, uh, deciding the main, which main to hoist, the jeep to hoist. So, so far, so good. For sure, it's still a long race in this condition. Stay with us, Petro. We're just seeing Orient Express Racing go around that bottom mark uh, for the first time to complete the second leg. How important to the confidence of this team would a win be today? <laughs> for sure, it's uh, for us it's key to to bring home this uh, this race. Uh, yeah, um, we'll see, we'll see. Still, uh, still long, as I said. This is the race committee. We are moving the leeward gate, shifting the axis to 335. Big day for the race committee today. A lot of course changes, keeping the course true and directly into the wind, both upwind and downwind. Big job for them. Uh, Leggy Red Bull Racing, you know, really sailing their boat as well as they possibly can. And, um, yeah, I think uh, the French are not quite as locked in as, as the Swiss at the moment. And it's all about being locked in on these boats for, for max performance. There has been so much pressure on this Swiss outfit. They needed to win this race. So far, so good. Orient Express Racing, they've just come back on the foils. A moment ago, they were off the foils. It's, it's just one of those days for Orient Express Racing, but it couldn't have happened at a worse time in the last week of the Louis Vuitton series. The French team last to get their AC75. They got the d design package from the Kiwis, but have had the least amount of time to get race ready. And I wonder if we're just beginning to see a few of those gremlins. It's taken them five races to get here, but they've finally done it in an important week. A Lingy Red Bull Racing get their first win in the Louis Vuitton Cup Challenger Selection Series, and the cowbells will be going off the team base. Confirmation of this result in race 16, the opening day of round robin two. It's a Lingy Red Bull Racing with win number one.